Now moving on to the next topic here, fluid volume deficit, a common manifestation of dehydration. So clients have a deficit or a decrease in fluid. So just look at the Ds here and think dry for dehydration and a deficit of fluid. Clients dry out like a raisin in the sun, appearing sunken in, shriveled up, and very weak, which we'll get into the specifics of manifestations and signs and symptoms in a moment. But first, why does this happen? So the top four causes, vomiting and diarrhea, like from food poisoning, infection, or just too much alcohol like after last semester's final exams. You know what I'm talking about, right? Tequila is never the correct answer. It's actually the most correct answer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, now hot body and sweating also releases fluid, including fever, heat stroke, and even thyroid crisis and severe burns. This puts the patient most at risk for fluid volume deficit, since they lost a lot of fluid due to blister formation on the skin, as well as urination drains fluid from the body and into the potty. But really the big ones to write down here are the three Ds, DI, DKA, and diuretics. So the top reasons that clients lose fluid in the clinical setting here is DI, diabetes insipidus. So the memory trick for the three Ds, just think DI, think dry inside. Clients diarrhea's fluid like up to 20 liters a day. We're talking lots and lots of urine here. Now the second reason here is DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis. So with DKA, think D for dry. Now we go into all the details in the full DKA video, but real quick, DKA we see an increased sugar concentration within the blood, that hyperglycemia, typically caused by infection which also dries the body out, and a common manifestation is Kuzmal respirations, basically fast breathing, which leads to insensible fluid losses from all that fast breathing. Okay, the last D is for diuretics, like furosemide and hydrochlorothiazide. Now these end in I, so think the body is dried. Now as you will learn, diuretics drain fluid from the body and into the potty. So we also have a loss of electrolytes here too, mainly potassium. Because as you know, where fluids flow, electrolytes go! Okay, now a quick side note before we go into manifestations. Compensation of fluid volume deficit and dehydration. Now the body tries to balance itself out by sending signals to increase that fluid intake. So we'll see increased thirst, the body's gonna be holding on to urine, so we're gonna have concentrated urine, as well as increased heart rate and vasoconstriction. Just think about it here. The body's trying to compensate or basically make up for the decreased fluid volume by pumping the little blood it has at a faster pace all around the body in order to perfuse or oxygenate the tissues here. So this is why we see increased heart rate and vasoconstriction. Hey everyone, Nurse Mike here from SimpleNursing.com. Did you get your beautifully handcrafted study guide bundle yet? It highlights the key points and memory tricks in this video. Plus, get 900 more videos not here on YouTube, all neatly organized in the playlist. Along with thousands of practice questions written by actual NCLEX writers. So don't be scared, be prepared. Try it free today. Visit SimpleNursing.com.